Hi there Titans, my name is Paige and today I'm going to show you how you can configure pins to show multiple locations in Google Maps and Titan Web. So here I have my Google Maps element widget inside Titan Web and I am able to see multiple of my accounts locations using pins. I also am able to see a message when I click on these pins. So let me show you how I did this. So here is my Google Maps, and we do have um, the marker set from the last video. Let me show you that. So I have this first get where we are getting this account ID, and then the mapping is set on marker latitude, marker longitude, value, and text. And then I have <clears throat> to allow pins. Pins are used for multiple locations. You go to pins. You can click add pin. Give it a name. You can choose what color you would like it to be. Let's do a, this fuchsia. You can choose whether you want to display the, the markers or not. So I'm going to choose that. This is where you can configure the on-click action. So I'm going to give a message. Okay, very simple. Showing you the functionality of how you can use any action at the click. So if you wanted to um, open up a modal and then display dynamic information, you absolutely could do that if you want to take them to maybe like that company uh, website, like the options are really in limitless on the on-click actions. So I'm going to click apply <clears throat> and apply. I'm going to delete this one so that we can, you can see me walk through this with you. Okay, so we have our account pins and then we have to configure the get. So this was my previous one. I'm just going to re recreate it with you. Choose accounts or whatever object your geolocations are on. I'm going to choose user action and then I'm going to assign it to the page so that it will load um, on the page load. Now it's really important right here. It automatically will just pull the first record. But if you want to use um, have multiple pins on your your map, then you need to allow how many records to pull. So I'm only going to be pulling back three, so seven is fine for me, but um, make sure that you take that into account when you're configuring your maps. Conditions. I'm going to pull back all of the accounts that um, the type is customer direct. So this is where you decide which accounts you're wanting to pull back, and you specify that here. So account type equals static, and I'm going to paste that there. Okay, now I'm going to do the mapping. Now in for pens, instead of doing the marker, marker latitude, you're going to go to the marker pen, and this is the name that you assigned that pen, and then you'll, you can choose this. So value, I'm going to do the ID. Latitude is that geolocation latitude. Longitude is here. Um, I'm going to choose a name for this one. And there we have it. <clears throat> now the cool thing about pins is that you can create as many pen types as you like. So I'm just doing one, which is those, my first pen type, which is the customer direct. Um, account types in Salesforce, but if you want to display multiple different types of accounts and give them different colors and sh show them all over the map, then you would just create a new pin and maybe just assign it a different color. Then you can assign it different on-click actions. Um, it's really, really powerful and robust, so like you can really take this to the moon if you'd like. Um, let's close out, and now all that's left is we need to assign it to our page. So we already have <clears throat> it assigned to get the first account. Now I'm just going to add in my other accounts and click apply, apply, 
save, and now we are ready to test. All right, so we can see our original, our original, um, it says hi Titans. There is another pen behind it, that first one that we made together. I don't think I'm able to click on it though, but it is behind it. And then we have, I believe two more, yeah, over here. And then this pen over here is all of my um, accounts that are probably being pulled because they have, um, they have this type, but they do not have a geolocation. So that is why there is a pen in the middle of the ocean. I only made a couple of them with geolocations. All right, so that is how you do it, and I hope that this helps really sophisticate your Titan Web projects. Thank you for watching.